Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. IRS Low Income Tax Clinics can help taxpayers resolve federal tax issues. But first, an attempt at a joke, I apologize in advance. Some jerk took a video of me dealing with an extreme case of diarrhea and put it on social media, which was humiliating. Not so much because of the diarrhea, but because I never wanted anyone to see me sitting on that lame, weak, water-conserving excuse for a toilet that the state made me purchase. Or the next hour and a half spent plunging the pathetic pot. Seriously, if this thing can't even flush diarrhea, it's worthless. My poor stomach already did half the work. As a person who grew up watching Married with Children, something I'm not saying I'm particularly proud of, but it is what it is, Every time I leave the bathroom having to listen to that whimpering third flush, I can just see Al Bundy snickering at me. I mean, where's the power? Where's the flush that goes va -woosh? Where's the classic Ferguson? IRS Tax Tip 2022-39, March 14th, 2022. Low-income taxpayers who need help resolving a tax dispute with the IRS and can't afford representation may qualify for free or low-cost assistance from a low-income tax clinic. These clinics are independent from the IRS and from the agency's Taxpayer Advocate Service. How LITCs can help taxpayers. These clinics can represent taxpayers in audits, appeals, and tax collection disputes before the IRS and in court. LITCs can also help taxpayers respond to IRS notices and correct account problems. They also can provide information about taxpayer rights and responsibilities in different languages for taxpayers for whom English is a second language. Who qualifies for help from LITCs? To qualify for assistance from an LITC, taxpayers' income must be below a certain threshold and the amount in dispute with the IRS is usually less than $50,000. For details, taxpayers should review the Low Income Taxpayer Clinic Income Eligibility Guidelines. There's a link to those guidelines here. How to find the nearest LITC. Taxpayers can find the LITC closest to them by reviewing the Low Income Taxpayer Clinic list. There's a link to that here. Or using the Low Income Taxpayer Clinic Finder. There's a link to that here on the Taxpayer Advocate Service website. The IRS is looking for organizations interested in joining the LITC program, organizations interested in representing, educating, and advocating for low income and English as a second language taxpayers should watch this video. There's a link to that video you should watch if that's, that applies to you here about applying for an LITC grant and review the most recent application package. There's a link to that application package. Currently, there are no LITCs in Montana and North Dakota or the territory of Puerto Rico. So I, I would assume then you might have a better chance of, uh, of setting one up in those areas possibly. There are also unser unserved counties in Arizona, Florida, Idaho, Nevada, uh, North Carolina, and Pennsylvania. Qualifying organizations looking to serve taxpayers in these areas are strongly encouraged to apply. A complete list of current LITCs and their locations is in publication 4134. There's a link to that here. Organizations who have questions or need additional information about the LITC program or application process, please contact Karen to Tober with the LITC uh, program office by email at, and there's an email link here, which I won't list out, but there'll be a link to this in the description. And if you hit that link, then you'll come to this place, which has all these links that you can check out. So if you're interested, take a look at the description.